All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over adding dynamic search ads to an existing search campaign in Google Ads. So if you're already running a search campaign, you're targeting keywords, one thing you might want to do to expand your campaign a little bit is to add some dynamic search ad groups. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So yesterday I went over the recommendations page in one of my videos, um, so kind of how to improve your optimization score. Um, so I'm going to be improving all of these things today. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is creating dynamic search ads. So it's saying it will improve my optimization score by 5.2% if I create dynamic search ads. Um, so what I want to do is go into my search campaign right here. So we're going to open up our search campaign. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on ad groups over here. So all of these ad groups, as you can see, is under ad group type, it's going to be standard. So we're just targeting keywords in all of these different ad groups down here. Um, so we have a little bit over 20 ad groups for this campaign. So what I'm going to be doing is clicking right here to create a new ad group in our existing search campaign. So not a completely new search campaign. We're just going to be creating a new ad group in our existing search campaign. So under ad group type, so it might say standard here. So what you want to do is make sure you switch it from standard to dynamic. So we're going to switch it to dynamic. And what we're going to do is under ad group name, we're going to name it dynamic search ads and maternity belt. So what I'm going to be doing is creating three separate ad groups for these dynamic search ads. So you can see right here, there's three separate products right here. So for each of these individual landing pages, so you can see one, two, three, each of these landing pages, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an ad group for them. So for the first one, dynamic search ads, maternity belt, what I like to do is bid slightly lower on dynamic search ads because I'm already targeting keywords related to pregnancy belts and maternity belts and pregnancy back braces. I want to make sure I'm not starting to compete too much against myself. Um, so under here, under default bid, what I'm going to do is set it to 65 cents. So my bid will be slightly lower than what I'm bidding on keywords. And if I start to drop my keyword bids a little bit, I want to make sure I'm dropping my dynamic search ads bids as well. Um, so over time, as we switch to a target CPA bidding strategy or a target return on ad spend bidding strategy, we don't really need to worry about this too much. Um, and the other thing that we can do is as a best practice is as we start seeing some keywords come into this ad group, if we see keywords that are converting or keywords that are performing well, um, what we can do is take those keywords out and separate them out into their own ad groups. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here a little bit. So you have a few different options. With dynamic search ads, you can target categories recommended for your website. You can target specific web pages here, or you can target all web pages. Um, so just some different options that you can use. Um, so one thing you can do is target all web pages and maybe just set a bid of you know 40 cents, 30 cents, and really just see the types of keywords that are coming in. Um, you just wanna make sure you check your search terms report, and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. Um, so you can add negative keywords if you start getting some things that are a little bit too broad or irrelevant to your search campaign. So here under specific web pages, we're gonna be using exact URLs. We're gonna take this page right here, we're gonna copy it, come back over here, paste it, and we're gonna click on add. So our dynamic ad target will be this URL. So Google Ads is gonna take that URL, take some of the keywords we have in that URL, look at the product, look at the title tags, look at the meta description, basically look at everything that's happening on that page to target our advertisements to other relevant keywords that we're not already targeting within our search campaign. So what we can do now is click on save and continue. So now what we need to do is create our dynamic search ads. So if you've never created an expanded dynamic search ad, what you can see is your final URL is dynamically generated. Uh, so the landing page is dynamically generated. So it should just send it directly to the landing page that we set for our targeting. Our headline will be dynamically generated. Our display URL will be dynamically generated. Now your dynamic search ads will generally perform better if you have good descriptions on the page, if you have good content on the page, um, cause that will help Google really find the best possible keywords for the products or services that you're selling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the two description lines here. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit uh, so you don't have to watch me type or anything like that. Okay, so I entered the two descriptions here. So the first one, get the maternity belt from zero compression back brace for belly and back support. The second one, you will love the additional back support and belly support that our maternity belt offers. So pretty simple uh, descriptions there. So what we can do now is click on done. Now a best practice is to run at least multiple advertisements in each ad group. Um, generally I run at least three advertisements in each individual ad group. For now I'm just gonna keep this one. Um, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create more ads later. 
um, but just so we can start creating some dynamic search ads for this campaign. Now, the other thing you want to do is make sure you're optimizing your ad extensions. So you want to create ad group level ad extensions, especially for this, where I can link to some different pages on my website that are more related to pregnancy back braces, maternity belts, things of that nature. Um, so for right now, what I'm going to do is click on save and continue. I'm going to go back and improve the ads and extensions a little bit for each individual ad group. So we click on save and continue now. Okay, so if we scroll down a little bit over here to the left, you can see our dynamic search ads maternity belt here. Um, so if we look at our dynamic ad targets, you can see it's the URL that equals for the pregnancy back brace. Um, we have our max CPC set at 65 cents. Again, you want to keep that a little bit lower. And then if you, we come over here to ads and extensions, you can see our, we have our one dynamic ad here. Obviously, we want to create more. Um, so here under keywords, one thing you can start to look at is if you click on search terms here, you're going to start getting some search terms in for this individual ad group. So this is really where you want to start looking as you start getting more data to either find search terms that you might want to break out into their own ad group that you can target yourself, maybe bid a little bit higher on, um, or search terms that you might want to add as negative keywords. So a couple different options when you're adding dynamic search ads to your campaign. And then the other thing you want to do is when I do create my three different dynamic search ads ad groups, so I'm going to create one for each product, maybe I'll create a few more if there's anything I find that will be useful for this campaign. What you want to do is go back over to your recommendations tab, just so Google can see that you are adding dynamic search ads to your campaign and just making sure you click on view recommendation here. And rather than adding their recommendation, just click on dismiss. Um, so that's going to allow you to dismiss this recommendation for right now. So after you add your dynamic search ads to make sure your campaign is as optimized as possible. It's not something you necessarily need to do, but it's something that you can do as you start building out your campaign to make sure your recommendations are always really geared towards some of the things you haven't done yet. So if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.